Hey, uh, my name is Calissa and I am a certified Optavia coach. And I just wanted to simplify the lean and green for y'all because I know that it can seem overwhelming at first and it's really not. So what I'm gonna do is show you what we keep on our countertop um, that we use every night when we make our lean and green meal. And then also what I wanted to point out is that your coach should have sent you a welcome message after your first order was placed. And in that welcome message, either through text or Facebook Messenger or email, and in that welcome message, is a list of links. And those links are gonna direct you to charts that we want you to print out if possible. Um, we organized them into a binder and also printed out a bunch of recipes to put in there as well. Um, another option is to take screenshots of the charts and save them in an album on your phone. Um, alternatively, if you can't access the welcome message or you can't find it, you can look in the file section of your Facebook client support page and there is a document with the links to the charts so that you can print them out. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what we keep on our countertop at all times so that it makes your life easier. Okay guys, so first and foremost, we have our food scale always sitting here ready to go. Secondly, we keep the Optavia guide right here. This should come in your first order and the most important pages in this guide for while you're on program are gonna be pages 18 to 21, okay? Now, this page 18 is the most important for picking out your protein for your lean and green. You'll see three categories here. You've got the leanest category, leaner and lean. What you're gonna do is every night when you pick your protein, you're gonna choose, you're gonna look at the list and find it on this list. If it's a leanest protein, you need to make seven ounces cooked weight and add two healthy fats. If it's a leaner, you need to get six ounces cooked weight and one healthy fat. If it's a lean, you're gonna do five ounces cooked and no healthy fat because these already have enough fat in them. On page eight or page 19, you're gonna see a list of healthy fats, but I'm gonna show you a chart that's in those links that gives you a lot more options. And then here's just a summary of the vegetables. This is the measuring cup version. And I'm also gonna show you a chart that converts the measuring cup to a much more accurate weight. And then on page 21, you have the extras for the five and one plan. These are optional snacks. You're allowed one optional snack per day. Um, obviously they're optional. So the fewer you have, the better to stay in a tight fat burn. And then you've got the flavors of home meals. So these are pre-made shelf stable meals that can be found in the snacks and more section of the website. They are really helpful for people that are on the go and just want to make a quick lean and green because each meal is one complete lean and green. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you our binder. We keep this binder on the counter and we use page protectors so that we don't have to hole punch and we can cook around it. And as you can see, we've printed off a million recipes from the Facebook page. But the first chart that you'll see in your email, your welcome message, is this lean and green summary. So this is basically a summary of what I just showed you in the guide. See how it's a summary? When you need a healthy fat, so here's a healthy fat list. This is a healthy fat list. One page, two pages, three pages. Any healthy fats from this list will work. If you choose a leanish, you need to choose two healthy fats. If you choose a leaner, you need one healthy fat. The most common healthy fats, I would say people tend to use oil. Um, there's avocado, guacamole. You can use olives. Nuts are really popular. Um, butter options, mayonnaise options. And then of course, you've got all your dressings. Pretty much in general, two tablespoons of any light dressing is gonna be one healthy fat. Okay, now we're gonna glance over here at the vegetables. Now, for vegetables, you need three servings of vegetables for every single lean and green meal. When you come to this vegetable chart, every single approved vegetable is listed. And we're gonna look at broccoli. Broccoli has three categories for normal broccoli. You've got raw, cooked from frozen, cooked from fresh. You wanna be sure that you choose whichever one you did. For the lean and green I make at the end of the video, I used raw. For a lot of times, you're gonna cook it. So you're gonna weigh your broccoli after it's cooked based on how it started. So if it started frozen, you're gonna look and weigh out 92 grams after it's cooked. If it started out fresh, you're gonna weigh out 78 grams after it's cooked.
okay? This is a brilliant chart. This is the gram weight in this column and this is the ounce weight. This tells you how much of a measuring cup. Measuring cups are not accurate for weighing your vegetables because you, there's no way to quantify the empty space around the vegetable in the measuring cup. So that's exactly what this chart is for. It is to help convert a measuring cup to an actual physical weight. So I challenge you to weigh your vegetables on a food scale because it's gonna keep you in a tighter fat burn, okay? Three servings of vegetables, you can do three servings of the same vegetable or three servings of different vegetables. Now let's go, we already talked about healthy fats. Here's the condiment list. Condiment list, these are optional. You can have up to three condiments per day. Because they are optional, I would recommend limiting them. You don't need three unless you want them. The fewer condiments you have, the faster you'll reach your goal and the tighter fat burn you will stay in, okay? We've got seasonings, we've got sauces, um, the little dairy section and everything. At the end of your, at the end of your charts file, you will see a vegetarian sheet. So this, this sheet is for vegetarians. It gives all the fuelings but it also gives options in the leanest, the leaner, and the lean categories that are vegetarian options for anyone who wants to use like dairy or, you know, non-meat options, you'll see. Okay, now we're gonna actually weigh a lean and green out. So here's my food scale, I'm gonna hit zero, and I'm gonna go to grams because I'm gonna make my salad first. So first I'm gonna do iceberg lettuce. Now let's come over to our vegetable chart and find iceberg lettuce. Lettuce, iceberg, is 72 grams. There's your ounces, I like to do grams. So we're gonna weigh out 72 grams of iceberg lettuce. Okay, we've got 51. Sixty-seven. Pretty close, 72 grams. Now we're gonna do romaine. Okay, let's look at romaine. Lettuce romaine is 47 grams. So we're gonna get 47 grams of romaine, but first you're gonna zero in between, zero. And we're gonna get some romaine. We need 44 or 47. Forty-two, forty-four. 44, there we go. Okay, last but not least for our third vegetable, we're doing broccoli. So we've got broccoli and we're gonna choose the raw category because it's raw and we're gonna go with 44 grams. I'm gonna put, oh wait, don't forget to zero. Okay. 12. 44, and I'll break that up more. Now, okay, we've got our three servings of greens. Now we're gonna add our chicken. I'm gonna zero again. Remember, you're zero between each item. And I'm gonna change the units to pounds and ounces not fluid ounces, actual pounds and ounces. Now, which meat is chicken? Chicken breast, chicken breast, chicken breast. Chicken breast is a leaner chicken breast. I need six ounces cooked weight, and I'm gonna need one healthy fat. So let's see about our chicken. So I've got my chicken right here, and we're gonna weigh it out. So I always start with one big piece, because I know that's probably gonna be pretty close. Okay, that's 4.4. We'll throw some small pieces in there. It's 5.2. 5.8. Oh my goodness, we're so close. Well, anyway, we'll get a tiny bit more. It's probably going to be too much. 6.4. Well, anyway, you see the you see the gist. We are going to make it just right. Six ounces. There we go. 
six ounces of chicken. And then for my one healthy fat, I need one healthy fat with chicken, so I'm gonna do two tablespoons of a light dressing. And then that's gonna be my salad for tonight. Yay!